So let us create serializer. Here we start with serializer. In short, serializer is a way to return Django query set or data into JSON format, which is supported by front end framework like React.js, Vue.js, and Angular. As we everybody know that our front end web framework is React.js, so we need to return all data contained in a model into JSON format and that is supported to be fetched and to be manipulated by React.js which is our JavaScript front end framework. So in our application let's create a file name serializers py file then after as i told you that our authentication method on a front end react js will be token so we need a token for every user let's start to create a serializer for model article is article to create a Mo serializer for model user but here I want to add something extra user serializer we don't need to return a password when our data are rendered on uh, our REST API framework or when um, our backend data are fetched by Postman. But also, password is required. You can't create a user on your front end without password. Okay, but also what we need is once a user is created, we need to create a token for user okay this is by default as long as user is created there are, must be a token for user to be created so let's override the create method So this is what I mean. Once user is created, also token for a user should be created. After creating serializer, let's create views. So we import model article. We import model user is user serializer. So we are done with creating <coughs> user view set. So let's <coughs> create article view set. So this is our user view set and the article view set. The next thing we need to do is to add this view set in URL's py file. <coughs> 